<laughs> so we're here with Ashley Nieves, worship leader at Finisher's Church, and the senior pastor, Pastor Pierre Johnson, giving his uh, his what is that? The the mayor wave. Go church. <laughs> See ya. And one thing that's really important about Finish the Church is that we like to have fun and we, we you do. know, we're big on humor. So we're just going to, I guess, come on guys, just talk about, I guess, funny moments of funny Finish moments. Church. Well, the Bible says that a merry heart does good for the soul. So uh, so we like to have fun and we think that it's really important for, uh, for, even when you come to church, to really just loosen up, have fun, you know, joke a lot. And uh, we've had a lot of funny moments here and here we are getting ready to go on our two year anniversary. And, uh, and, and Ashley was like the first college student here two years ago. So uh, and she started the trend. So she's been around for a lot of funny moments. What was yeah. one of your favorite ones? My favorite funny moment was when Pastor, he locked himself. <laughs> <laughs> that door right there. Is that window right there? <laughs> he locked himself out and we were having rehearsal for um, On a Sunday worship. morning, yes. about maybe 20 or 30 minutes yes. before service. And we all came out here. The whole band. The whole band, and we tried to get inside, and it was just the funniest thing ever. And, and we managed to get back inside. We did. We were almost going to break a window, but at that point, I was starting to sweat. <laughs> I had all my notes upstairs, and I said, well, I'm going to rely on the Holy Spirit on today. <laughs> Bless God. No notes, no nothing, but we were able, just when we were getting ready to break the glass, uh, we were able to get in. But I actually don't think that was funny at all. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was, it was a lot of pressure, but it wasn't funny. Um, but yeah, we have had a lot of funny moments. I think one that I can think of um, was, uh, I think um, one time when I was preaching, I forgot, I think it was on ways, seven ways that the Holy Spirit will speak to you. And right in the middle of the message, uh, one of our members, Jackie, who was fairly new to the church, she busted out in the middle of my message, stood <laughs> up in the middle of the aisle, in the middle of my message, and said, I got to testify. Yeah. But you know what? But and it was so funny that when we look back on it, it was like, Lord, somebody stood up in the middle of his sermon and wanted to talk, but it so flowed. It was yeah. so perfect for the atmosphere, but uh, it was definitely a memorable moment that, that I, I don't think I'll ever forget. We, we've had some really funny moments. Yeah. No, you, you didn't talk about her hitting you, though. Oh, you know what? Yeah, she threatened to hit me with the Bible. Because, you know, country folks, when you preach it real good, a country folk, you know, yeah, they'll say amen. They'll say, yeah, thank you, Jesus. But really, they'll get up on the stage, grab their Bible, hit you, and go sit back down. Yeah, and one day, I was preaching, and she had her Bible, and I thought she was about to hit me. I heard that I reacted, and I started to run behind the podium. <laughs> I thought you were about to beat me up. But you don't get beat up in the Holy Spirit. That's all right. That's all right. But we've had it some good okay. times. okay, yes. Really good times. Today you told the congregation that you made the declaration that you're Oh yeah, I, I, let, I let the congregation know that I am an African American. <laughs> I, I got nominated for this uh, uh, blog about black men. So I, I told everybody to look forward uh, to you know them, them letting it out there. And I said, you know, is, and I told them the website and everything like that, and it was about black men. And everybody was like, oh, but they kind of looked at me a little funny. So I said, what happened? Y'all didn't know I was black? What was it, my curly hair? And it was a really funny moment yes. for that. And we had people really, dying in our congregations, laughing, crying. It was, <laughs> it was that funny. I mean, the thing is, I think that I always say that I think with all the shows about New Jersey that are on Bravo, that are on all these stations, we need a, uh, uh, a show called Jersey Church. <laughs> Fini uh, uh, featuring <laughs> Finishers Church because we have a church full of comedians. Yeah, we I do. mean, I mean, everything about everybody in their church, there's always a funny moment. You will never... You'll never miss out here. You come here, you will laugh. I mean, it's we like, even take scripture. It's like when you used to do your sermons and you would say, like, tell the whole congreg congregation to just say fun. Yeah, just fun. Because you just have to. You we have, have to. to. We yeah. have to have fun. Who wants to go into uh, a rigid, very cold yeah. environment? So we had this thing. We would just say fun. I remember one time, uh, uh, and everybody remembers this, uh, I was trying to figure out how to close a specific message. <laughs> like, I got through all my points. And I'm like, God, now what do I do? How do I get out of this thing? Uh, bus passing by. Good old New Jersey transit. <laughs> and, uh, and I was trying, God, how do I close this thing? I've made all my points. And all of a sudden, this brother who's playing drums, Bernard, uh, he sat on his Blackberry, I guess, and the Blackberry has a thing. It says, say a command. So it went off one time. It was quiet in there. So I ignored it the first time. But you know, once something happens about two or three times, you, you got to acknowledge it because everybody's looking. And it says, say a command. And it was the perfect moment because, you know, we laugh, but I'm like, that's what God is saying to us. Say a command. Say a command over your life. So it was funny, yet very serious. Yet very serious. And again, again, with all of our comedians, goes down in history, we had a play 
And, uh, and one of our members, Robin, <laughs> oh so my goodness, she just tore it up and started playing uh, in the middle of the play. I forgot what it was, and I think it was was it uh, the Tootsie Roll? And I think oh yes, and candy, sweet as gold. And now they had given me the script, but I hadn't read over the whole thing, so that part was a surprise. I heard everybody was talking about my reaction, and I remember that I was sitting on the front row, and we had a lot of visitors that day. And when that cotton candy sweetest gold started coming on, and people started doing a tootsie roll, <laughs> I sat back with my Bible like, Ooh, please turn it off. But, no, when she came in though, when um, she made her grand entrance. She made a grand entrance looking like <laughs> she went to uh, went in a pile of clothes on the street and just grabbed everything and put it on. And I saw her rolled morning, up pants and everything. And I said, uh, okay, you look interesting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but again, the Bible says that a merry heart does good for the soul. So. When you come here, that's what you'll experience. You'll experience a fun environment where people are serious about the Word of God uh, and about being in the presence of God. But we laugh and we have fun, which is important. So, yeah. Do you have another favorite moment, Ashley? Kind of wrap this there up. There are so many funny moments. There's moments with Ashley. <laughs> There's moments with Ashley that are hilarious, too. Yes, on Palm Sunday <laughs> last year, we, uh, that was the first time really that I think I, I like hung out with all the college students. We went to Smash Burger, and it was Palm Sunday, so Ashley had a whole bunch of palms. And uh, <laughs> we went over, we, first we were going to go to Panera, and we like, no, it's too crowded. We went to Smash Burger. Ashley started giving out palms to people. She wanted to give out palms to people. And she is uh, <laughs> in Panera give, giving out palms and talking to people about God. We're sitting in Smash Burger, about like six of us, look out the window. Ashley's outside, skipping across the parking <laughs> lot, doing this little dance like she has no care in the world. But it was nice. It was a hilarious moment, and we all started cracking up. But again, it tells the uh, the joy of our house and the essence of Ashley. And the essence <laughs> of our worship leader. So she can sing and she's serious and all, but she's funny. She's funny. Or that one time, my favorite time. We have this thing here where we talk about money, and one time somebody we were celebrating oh, somebody's. No. <laughs> We were celebrating somebody's birthday, and Ashley told uh, told one of the guys. She said, "Oh, we're celebrating somebody's birthday." She said, "She said, she said, oh, are you gonna come to the restaurant with us?" So he said, "Huh?" And she said, she said, she said, "Yeah, do you wanna come?" He said, "No, I'm not." She said, "Why not? You ain't got no money." <laughs> so, wow, I and just, I just like did my country laugh. <laughs> and you, you, I heard you a couple of times during your sermon using that. Oh yeah, I, that that is like our thing now. We say, "What's wrong? You ain't got no money." <laughs> You ain't got no money, but when you ain't got no money, just turn it over to Jesus and he'll fix it. All your little money spent, you ain't got no money, turn it over to Jesus. You ain't got no money. You, you, ain't, got no you money. ain't got no money. Hey, how did he look at you? I was trying to be funny. That's, that's the funny part about it. She was genuine, but everybody who heard, we ran out. Anyway. All right, it's getting hot out here. This interview is too long. Praise the Lord. Yes, it is. God bless you. Second Thanks year anniversary. Second year anniversary. The end of this month, August. August 28th, uh, Sandra Ward from Faith Yay. Fellowship, Pastor Michael May, he's coming up with his family from Spirit of Fire and uh, uh, Fellowship in Richmond, Virginia. Look forward. We're going yes. to jam in Jesus' name. Yes. And this Friday, Bible study. This Friday, Bible study at uh, 7.30 p.m. I'm teaching a small group discussion on the, uh, the five people that you need in your life. Biblical. Praise the Lord. Now let's plug in our Facebook really quick and our Twitters and all that good okay. stuff. You don't have no Twitter. She does, but she doesn't use it. Oh, okay. uh, Facebook, Facebook. Well, you can find Finisher's Church on Facebook. If you want to add me as a friend, you can go through Finisher's Church because, you know, I got my stuff on private. You know, it's privatized. <laughs> you know, privatized when you're special. Mm. You, know, you have peculiar people. You ain't supposed to be out there like that. All right. So uh, <laughs> on Twitter, uh, it is Pastor Pierre J uh, on Twitter. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.